Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 74 Extreme Edition. In the last episode, we finished up Course 10 Breathing Beach. We did a lot in Dried Out Dead Desert. This episode, we're going to hopefully finish that up with one more star that we need to find. So we'll go ahead and grab that first. Um, we have the airy... Ugh, I wish I could see the name of it, but I need to do the red coins first if I wanna. Okay, I can literally see it. It's right there. Okay, so we don't need to go through this whole searching segment. We just need to get there. Pure execution. No search, no nothing. I can appreciate this level. It's just all... None of it's really puzzle. It's just pure do the trick. You know where everything is. You can see almost every single star from the beginning. All you gotta do is get there. It's... Ugh. I'm, okay, I'm starting to kind of see, like, some design. Ooh, wow, okay. Some design come out here. And that's not... That's not the design I wanted. That was not by my design. Uh, yep. That's such a weird wall jump right there. I can never get that, like... The angle right, I don't know. What I'm perceiving to be the right execution there. So, like... It's right up. We want to go up here, right? Because we never did that before. I mean, we went up here, but we never followed this path to its to its climax. Oh. Oh. Where are we? Right here? Okay, that's not bad. And, like, most of these jumps aren't even hard. Like, a lot of them is just, like, make a bunch of moderate jumps in a row, really. Okay, well, or it can just bonk on the dumbest thing. And magically turn around backwards. That's how it is sometimes, you know? It's just how it is. I completely forgot we didn't even finish up this path. Oh! Not today. Alright. So now's the difficulty. We need to make it through all of these and get to that star. Uh, do you think it'd be easier to long jump to these? I think it would be easier to long jump since I could just grab onto the ledge instead of just have to... Ooh, that's really far. What? Bruh, you, you're gonna make me do that? Uh, does he want maybe, like, that kind of thing? No, that's still not even close. He just wants me to make a really good long jump, I'm guessing. Oof. Oh, you know what it... You think he wants me to do, like, consecutive long jumps to get to it? Because that's... even that's going to be difficult. I'm not sure if I can even long jump to the one I'm on without grabbing onto the ledge. Let's... let's try it. Let's get back over here. Okay. If it's possible. Alright, you see the predicament here. I suck at Mario. I can't grab onto these ledges either, just by walking off. No, you you go straight down. You plummet, my friend. You know what, we'll just... Ugh, I can't even do anything. We'll just go up this tiny little path again. And we'll make a save at the beginning, just in case we need to try some different strat. We'll see. We'll see what the path takes us through. Okay, so first off, plant our little feetsies here. Plant our little toesy woesies. Plant. Plant. Execute. Plant. They are planted. We are planted. Our little toesy woesies are planted. That's all it wanted. Okay. Now what? That's definitely wanting a triple jump out of us. that's really far away. Is there like... I didn't save. I didn't save. Because that's how it is. Okay. It's not even difficult. So we'll go on three and save that one. Because if I load two... Okay, I should be back. Okay, good. Just making sure. Okay, never mind. There is a thing to wall jump off. Okay. Good. That makes it simpler. Because now I know what I need to do. And I should be automatically lined up if I just... There. And now I just need to get off a wall or a long jump. Sometime today, maybe. 
I'm thinking, could you, like, do a triple jump to get on this wall jump section from, like, the path below? Ooh, would that even get me high enough? This is, like, not right. You see, it takes a little while. You have to be going at a certain speed to get long jump Z. Otherwise, if I just, like, try to... It's not gonna work, you see. So it's, like, very tiny window of possible. Can I, like, do this? I can, actually. So that makes it better. Let's do that. Oh, not double jump, you nerd. You also need to wait a millisecond when landing to be able to, uh go into Z mode. Oh, can I please? Oh. Oh. It's good. If I could just get that, that would be so yummy. It's not going to happen. We're not going to get the star. It's not not in the cards today. Not in the stars. Shall I say? Ugh. Like, that's almost more precise, because it's more more movement I need to get down, but this is just running and trying to pull off the long jump is just more precise in general. This one's just a bunch of slightly lesser precise jumps. And if I could get that timing down, you know what? If I get this long jump, I'm going to save right there, right then and there, on that long jump. Because this is ridiculous. Well, no, because then I'd have to take my finger off of the forward forward control stick, and that'd probably stop me from making it. Now, ho hold up. What was that? Nah. Okay. We're in there. Now we just need to suffer this angle. Oh, God. We'll make it. This, at this point, does not seem too impossible. It's basically what we just did, except without the crazy wall jumps to get there. Also, with the worst camera angle, of course, because we couldn't, couldn't have a video game without a bad camera angle, could we? Absolutely not. That would be <sighs> terrible. Oh, wow. The 360, the real quick 360 on the camera. Just, you never expect it, you're always expecting the 180, but when it goes the same way twice, you're like, oh, you're done. You're just kind of done with that one. Oh! See, I tried to slow down because I knew that would be good. I knew it would be Gucci, Gucci main, but it was not. Okay, now you see... That was, even though it did not look as hard as that other wall jump mission, it was in all reality much harder, just because of the camera. Cemetery artistics. Because it's literally, it's left up to luck whether I have the right camera angle. Or like, yeah, pretty much the right input on the right camera angle, so like whatever. Anyway, 100 coins.
easy. Easy every time. Y'all thought it was over. Y'all thought it was over. It was not. We got the star. Not even hard. On Okay, honestly. I know, like, okay, I'm about an hour and five minutes in recording. Not nearly as long as the recording it took for uh, Course 5. However, I would consider this the worst 100 coin star so far. Um, even though the water one took longer, it was mainly just because they were all in spread out places and you just had to find them. This one, you could very easily just not be able to get the 100 coin star. First off, there's the blue coin switch. Obviously, if you miss uh, two coins in that, I believe. Now, here's the thing. There must be coins somewhere I'm missing. Because no one said that this stage had few coins. Like, uh, if my account's right, there would be exactly 105 coins in there. I found 105 coins, including the blue coin that I... Or, no, that's 106, including the blue coin I missed. Other than that, there was nothing else I could see. At all. So, yeah, that's very obviously the end of that... Ep of this episode. There's... I'm not doing anything else. So, just curious, are there no other, like, secrets up here? I'm assuming there's, like, toad stars somewhere. But, like, other than that, it's just finding these old signposts for story or something. That's it? There's not a hole in the back? Nothing. That's really surprising. Someone did... There are secret stars here. Oh, there we go. There's a hole. This is lava, right? Just plain old lava? No. No, it is not. Do I have to, like, do that wall jumps? No, because that's too wide to do wall jumps. There must be a Koopa shell somewhere. Right? I'm not even sure if I can make it to that wall. I'm sure I can. But, like, still, that's dumb. If he wants you to do wall jumps for that. Because no way they'd put a Koopa shell in here, right? He's not... he wouldn't do that. I strongly doubt it. I'm gonna try for it anyway. I mean, just for something that's not... dumb. For once. Yep. Well, I can very obviously make it to that wall. Now it's just timing it. And even if I did, I'm pretty sure I would have to get perfect wall jumps to even get in there. And that's far in there. There's no way there's no Koopa shells or anything. Where would where would one be? Unless one's in like one of these doors over here, but let's not like you could take it out. We have 114. Can't we go in all of these except for like one of them or something? Wouldn't suppose there'd be like secret stars in here? No. Oh, that's a pipe. That is a very large pipe. I'm far away from the mic as well. Because that's just how it is sometimes. This is 150, right? No, that's 80. That one's easy. There's... Nothing here. So does he want you to actually do those wall jumps? So that's dumb. Super dumb. But, like, I still find it hard to believe that there's, like, nothing else here. We can read the signposts. If we can read them. Bad situation made big hatred grow against Mario, which was the case in many communities. So it's all Mario's fault? Is that fair? The Guardians of the Mushroom Palace could also do a better job, right? Seem to be pretty overpaid. What do you think? Yeah, that's obviously not in order, because, you know, reading them randomly. I think there'd probably be a toad over there on that. Maybe. There is absolutely nothing back here. Like, if I could find a Koopa shell or something. Sup. However, the magical power is only active when the original carrier is close to it. For that reason, Bowser kept Peach as a safe spot. But it looks like as if he likes to show his treasure to the public. Bowser uses the magical powers to... To overcloud the kingdom, a lot of the places that s the sun got darker, the water was tainted, the life of the population became difficult, and lots of died because of hunger and diseases. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. So where's the fifth sign? 
I think that signpost's like back there under that thing. That'd suck. Not worth. Like, is it really? Huh. And what's the point of this thing? There's literally no reason, unless one of these stages hurt hurts you when you go in it. Other than that, I can't imagine any reason for that being there. Because you could just go in a stage die and come out all feeling fresh. Nothing at the top of this. Like, really? Does he expect me to do crazy, dumb wall jumps? For normal... For normal thing. Hmm. Oh, anyway, I should probably end this video off because it's at like an hour and 12 minutes recording. But I know it's not going to be very long because that entire speed up section is going to be like, ugh, gone. In and out just like that, you know? I at least want to try and see what's in here, if I can. Oh, can I please line this up? I'm never going to be like, it's like right here, I guess. Must be, please. Nope, that doesn't work, and that just messes with all the stuff. Maybe if I, like... Nope, the angle does not change. So you probably have to do wall jumps. He wants you to do wall jumps there. For sure now. Okay. We'll do them. We're gonna do them. If I could maintain a not horrible horrible camera angle and that's like so deep in there too like the only camera angle I can use is this right here that way I don't bump into this dumb thing but if I use this right here there's no telling when I'm gonna hit that wall like you see you see that and it takes a turn so there's no way I can even do that no there is a Koopa shell somewhere has to be because you cannot make that. Nothing right here. How long am I going to look for this? It's not here. I'm not going to find anything. He's not going to put a Koopa shell out here. No way. Wait, so... There were three signs out here, right? One. There's one, like, right here. Two. So those are one and two. Three and four on top. Where's five? Makes very little sense. I wish this was lava so bad. Okay, you know, I think we will do Acid Peaks. Since it's supposedly so, so easy. So, uh, we'll do that next. See you all then. And goodbye. Goodbye.